This is an explanation of AVL trees. AVL trees are uh, binary search trees um, where we control the um, depth of the tree so it doesn't get too big. Okay, so um, what we uh, define as uh, a height balance tree is a tree where the depth of the left side and the depth of the right side differ by at most one. Okay, and also we want the left subtree and the right subtree to be height balanced themselves. Okay, so um, so what uh, what do we have here as examples? Here is uh, a tree of depth one. Here is a tree of depth two, uh, and the two subtrees uh, here of uh, depth um, of height one and here uh, of height zero differ by at most uh, one. So here we have one, one, two, and here we have one, two, one, and three. So there's a difference, but only of one. Um, and uh, here we have one, one, two, three, and uh, here we have one, two, um, and that four. So it's still the differences are only one. But here, if we um, go and uh, add uh, this one node, so now we have one, uh, two, uh, three, then um, uh, at this moment we don't have um, we don't have a height balance tree, right? Because uh, because uh, on the right hand side we have a tree of uh, depth two and here of height two, and there here we have of height zero. So there's a gap of two and that is too much. Okay. So um, um, when so an AVL tree is simply a height balance binary search tree and so that means that we uh, put the keys into this tree in the regular order where uh, to the left side you go to a smaller elements and to the right side you go to upper elements uh, but we also are going to keep it um, uh, height balanced. Okay. And that would um, make it uh, possible for us to do uh, fetch, insert, delete, split, and join all in log n time. Okay, um, so to implement this, um, what we do is um, uh, for, each for each node, um, we have a variable that measures the difference between the heights of the left and right subtrees. Okay, so... Uh, Let's see what this is here. So first, uh, let's see what are the the depths. So this is one, 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 one. This is uh, two. This is two. This is three. This is four. Okay. And the difference um, between the left and the right is um, is here. It's uh, uh, zero, 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 zero. Uh, here it's also zero. Here um, left minus uh, right is minus one. Um, here dog left minus right is minus one. Um, and here um, it is uh, left is three, that is two, that's one. So um, so that's the numbers that we have here. Of course, these numbers have to be 0, 1, or minus 1. Otherwise, the tree is um, not height balanced. OK, so um, to insert data, we just insert it in the usual way as in the uh, binary search tree. Um, let's say um, uh, if we want to insert uh, ant, then um, we um, go here and before we were smaller than ant, um, smaller than cat, so we add uh, ant uh, here and um, we connect it to this node and um, we recalculate the uh, balance um, variables. Okay, so um, uh, let's see a case that this is done. So suppose we're inserting 
10. And so in this case, um, we go down this path uh, and we add hen here, okay? So now that we have um, uh, hen here, the, the depths are 0, um, 1, 2, and so the um, difference um, um, right here is, um, is uh, 2. Is left minus right is actually minus two, and so um, this is not this is not um, a good situation. We don't allow that. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate uh, on this edge. Okay, so we do uh, rotate uh, left. Okay, and that gives us this uh, new configuration here, where the tree is height balanced okay so we basically uh, made hen go a little bit higher up the tree one up the tree so that the path to it next time that we search for it is not so long so um, in general uh, we need one or two rotations to get an unbalanced uh, tree um, that has been just <laughs> after one insertions into balance again Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, two cases. So here we have a um, uh, balanced uh, tree. And suppose that we're adding the um, node um, 18. Okay, so now we have um, a correct binary search tree, but it's not balanced. But we can easily balance it by right rotating uh, this node. So that would give us instead of this, uh, it would give us um, 19 going to 23 and going to 18. Okay, so this <coughs> case uh, requires one rotation. Here is a slightly harder case um, where we need two rotations. So suppose we're adding the uh, node 20 and now we need uh, one um, left rotation first to get uh, the 20 up. So left rotate this node. So we get um, 23 going to 20 going to 19. And uh, now we do um, right rotate of this uh, node and um, what we get is 20 that goes here to 19 and that goes here to 23. So here we needed two rotate rotations and uh, again this uh, 20 node will come instead of this. Here we'll have the 20 and the two edges coming out of it. Okay, so uh, in general um, we can think about it in the following way. Suppose we have a balanced tree where um, each one of these um, subtrees is balanced and, so and we have um, uh, four ways in order to um, make the tree unbalanced when we add a single node. So we can make, we can make this one unbalanced, uh, we can make this one unbalanced, this one unbalanced, this one unbalanced, and um, we call these cases, uh, going left and left, we call this left, left, this we call left, right, this we call right, left, and this we call right, right. And uh, for each one of these cases, we need one or two rotations um, in order to fix it and make the new tree balanced again. So um, that's summarized in this table here. If we have the left right ca left right case, um, then we need to do one ro one um, left rotation to get it to here, and then another right rotation to get it here. If we have a left left case like this, then we just need one rotation. So that's pretty much um, the whole algorithm. You go up the tree and fix the fix the b the unbalanced um, uh, subtrees so they're all balanced.